Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round two for group G. And we got some interesting matches to go for this session, so let's have a look at it. At first, we have got Lad taking on one of the tournament favourites, Drogon Targaryen the third. Then we have Dino Tanker looking to go 2-0 when they take on Shy Guy, who are also looking to go 2-0. We also have Futuristic. Looking to go, make it two out of two as well. Going up against the Pivar. Looking to bounce back after a defeat. And all that before our main event of this session. Two winless teams in Moon and Ultra Lord. Let's go with our first match, shall we? Ooh, the Alpha Arena. We haven't seen this field for ages. Okay, in the red corner, representing Lab, we've got Eucentrosaurus. Now, I, even though they lost against Dino Tanker, and the wheels did come off a bit at the end, I do I did feel Lad put up a, re, a pretty decent fight, had a decent showing in that match. But, in the blue corner, for Drogon, we have got Gygas. Now, none of our guys have Alpha Dinosaurs, so there's no terrain advantages here. Drogon, arguably one of the favourites to win this entire tournament, and definitely the favourite to top this group. So it's going to be a really stern, tough test for Lad here. But if they can, they can get a win here, yeah, they get something out of this game, I think that'll be a moral victory. And that's a good start. A good hit on the board. I think the Carp Spino matchup is going to be a big problem for Lad in this, con in this match. And the only way I feel they can win is if they can avoid that entirely, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And there it is, the first shot from Drogon. Geiger's getting their hit act together. Not much damage, but the Flare Sword is going to make up for it. This Eucentrosaurus is a resilient little tank. Good response here from Drogon. It's not been the fastest start in the world by them. And Lad getting another hit on the board. This Eucentrosaur has definitely had a good showing against Tanker. And it's having another good showing here. A Dino Swing coming in. Defense boost maxed up as well. That will limit the damage that this Gygus can do. Oh, but that's a crit. That's a move block as well. That could undo all of Lad's hard work. And a flare sword as well. This guy just likes getting them off. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, was that all the hard work undone by one crit? Okay, that's a tie. The Eucentrosaurus goes down. Right, coming in next for Lad, we got Polacanthus. Now, this is where the wheels really came off for them, because Polacanthus didn't do anything against Tenga. He's going to need it to do stuff here. Well, it was, it's been an even start so far, but I think Lad has edged it in terms of hits, but Drogon has got bigger hits off with the Flare Sword as well and the Crep. And that's probably why they have the slight lead. That's another tie. That's another tie. Okay, there goes the Gygus. Polar Campus finishing off the Gygus there and leveling the score. Right, coming in next for Drogon, we have got an Eoraptor. Skip this bet. And he's going to transform into a Margasaurus. Now, Eoraptor is a very interesting choice here. Because it is a glass cannon and it can go down like a lead brick. But it can also be effective, and it did get Drogon a bonus point victory in the first round. But, but, but like I said, I think the key for Ladia is to kill this Eoraptor as quick as possible with the Polar Canvas. They need a, to get a lead, to take a lead for when the Spino comes in. But they, well, the saving grace is that the Eoraptor doesn't have any of the Thai specialised moves, so... Ties won't be too big of a problem, but that is a big hit from Lad. Oh, that is a decent hit. The dive coming in. 
Polar Campus finally breaking through the tie drama and getting off the nerf barrier. Big hit from Lad. Oh, another hit. Another Onion Gira dive. Is this going to be curtains for Eoraptor? Yes, it is. And this is exactly what Lad wants because now the Spino comes in. He can start chipping away at this Spino's HP. So that if the cart comes in, it won't have to do too much work to kill it. And Drogon, in a bit of a pickle here. But, well, we won't count him out yet because this Spinosaurus can pull it back. It is heroic type as well. And it will have type advantage over Kakiridontosaurus. But he needs to get past Polocanthus first because this Polocanthus is looking really strong. Okay, there goes the Earth Barrier. The Technique Boost is going to activate as well, which increases the likelihood of Aqua Javelin activating. But we don't see it there. Ooh, but Lad gets a good hit there, and Anyang Guira dies to come as well. Good. This is very good from Lad, you have to say. Chipping away at that Spino's HP is key if he wants this win. That's a tie, but Lad won't mind that. But Drogon needs to get past this Polar Canvas. Just can't seem to get that big hit on it, but it is wearing it down. Another tie. Well, forget losing bonus point. Can Lad get a bonus point win here, which would be a big upset. Oh, hang on. He might have done it. Is Lad going to get the bonus point victory? Oh, almost, almost. Oh, well, this doesn't make any difference because the Polar Campus is going to die anyway. Almost the bonus point win. Look at this from Lad. And Drogon is flirting with disaster big time. Can Lad pull off the upset? Oh, he didn't get the bonus point. The Polar Campus does go down. But it did amazing work. And let's be honest, I think, unless Drogon gets like two crit. Like, multi three hits in a row. Well, at this point, you think Glad is probably going to pull off the upset, but we've seen some crazy things in this tournament. The match is not won yet, because that Spino, two hits, two crits, that's all it'll take against this car, and that's game over for Lad. But all Lad needs is a tie. The odds are in his favour now. This has been a really good performance from Lad against one of the tournament favourites. Can they seal the deal? Oh, oh, it's a crit. We might see Aqua Javelin. Is Dro could Drogon save himself? Oh, oh, bugger. Um, well, he's got a losing bonus point. Oh, could, is Drogon going to... Gonna break Lad's heart. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and Lad has pulled off the upset and have got the victory in the end against Drogon. Well, it got nervy at the end, but they just had enough gas in the tank to get the win. And Drogon, underwhelming performance from them, but they do managed to salvage a losing bonus point and you never know how crucial that could be the match definitely belongs to lad add that to the list of upsets in this tournament right on to our next match okie dokie in the red corner representing dino tanker we've got a simo tyrannus dino tanker looking to go 2-0 after their victory over lad in round one and there'll be a good opportunity for him here given that drogan lost in in the earlier match as well, so good chance there. And a good chance for Shy Guy as well, who also won in round one. Coming in in the blue corner, we got the Blitz type Pachycephalosaurus. Shy Guy were one of the most unique teams in this tournament with all Blitz type dinos. So that means this Pachycephalosaurus will go for two crits right off the bat. And I should also point out that Shy Guy does have terrain advantage with Edmontosaurus. Edmontonia. So terrain advantages will play out first before the uh, blitz effects. 
But look at that massive hit from Pachycephalosaurus. Is it going to be two from two? Not this time. Ooh, a heat eruption. Even better for Tanker. Good response there. That blitz. You know, this this could be either a really quick match. Well, actually, it will be a quick match. Because <laughs> blitz types hit so, so hard. Very effective, especially if you get the hit. I mean, if you don't, then, well, tough luck. <laughs> right, that's a four. And that's a one. That's a tie. This Samo Tyrannus does like a tie or two. Ooh, here we go. Pachycephalosaur is getting another hit on the board. It's a power drain. Shucking the life out of the Simo Tyrannus. Quite literally, because he's down for the count. Okay, coming in next for Dino Tanker, we've got a Megalosaurus. It's warning type. And um, it was very effective against Lad in round one, causing all sorts of problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This could take an interesting turn. Okay, that's a four. Ooh, but Pachyrhinus Cephalosaurus gets a softening beam off. A good hit there from Shy Guy. That means that Megalosaurus will take more damage during a tie. Guess one. Okay, there's the warning effect in effect there. The Megalosaurus gets off that crit block. I don't think it's going to matter because I think Pachycephalosaurus is going to go down here. And it does. And we are level pecking. Right, coming in next for Shy Guy, we've got the Blitz type Sorolophus. So you know what that means. Well, you know the deal by now. Two crits coming up. Will Shy Guy get any of them off though? That's the question. <laughs> Sa. Right, go for that scissors. Ooh, okay, that's a tie this time. Scissors number two. Oh, and Sorolophus does get the scissors. Good crit there from Shy Guy, but unfortunately, because the thingy wasn't hit on 10, the Blitz effect did not activate. So the Megalosaurus did survive. So I was a bit unfortunate, but you know, that's how it goes. Okay, well, Megalosaurus is going down anyway. The Sorolophus does get the next hit on the board, and Shy Guy extends their lead. Right, coming in next for Tanker, we have got Super Triceratops. Awaker mode on three. Gonna need it. Get back in this contest. Now, what could be interesting here is if the Awaker mode happens when the Edmontonia comes in. Because Edmontonia has terrain advantage. So, But you do, and he'll have type advantage as well. So Tanker is in a bit of a hole here. But that's a good way to get out of that hole, a crypt. Big shot there by Tanker. Ooh, but Sorolophus responds with a hit of his own. Will it get off nature's blessing? No, it won't. And in fact, I think the Awaker mode's gonna be used on this Sorolophus. And the answer to that will be yes. Hmm. Could be a, well, this could be an issue for Tanker. Because if he can manage to kill the Sorolophus and keep the Awaker mode, Edmontonia comes in and it gets the next hit anyway because of the terrain advantage. Oh, but he didn't get the hit anyway. Sorolophus strikes back and nature's blessing to add insult to injury as well. Was that the chance missed for Tenka? Now, can Shy Guy get the bonus point victory? I think that's going to be a no because of the Dino Stuffer. Ooh, Tanker surviving by the skin of their chinny chin chin there. Hanging on though, hanging on. I think even with a terrain advantage hit, Edmontonia will not have enough to kill the Triceratops. Okay, now it will. And that is 
probably, definitely game over for Tenka, but can Shy Guy get the bonus point? Nope! The Triceratops gets off the Thunder Driver, so Tank, so Shy Guy will be denied the bonus point victory, but it will be Shy Guy's victory nonetheless. Right, coming in third for Shy Guy, we've got Edmontonia with terrain advantage. And it's got type advantage as well. And it's blitz type too. <laughs> but we're not going to see that in, in effect in this matchup because the Edmontonia is going to win. Oh, Gyora. So, yeah, unfortunately. It is going to be Tenka's defeat. It is Shy Guy's victory. Sometimes that happens with a terrain advantage. It is what it is. But it is a victory for Shy Guy nonetheless. Okie dokie. On the match number try. Okie dokie. In the red corner for Futuristic. We have got the Super Baryonyx. Awaken mode on three. Hmm. This is a good field if you're the Peeva. Strathosaurus will have the terrain advantage. Futuristic got off to a winning start in quite dominant circumstances, I should say. Right, in the blue corner, representing Pivar, we have got Starachosaurus. He'll get the first hit, which will in fact be a crit. A Thunder Bazooka. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah! Big hit this is going to be, with the type advantage as well, I might add. Boosh! Defense boost coming in as well, that's going to help. Right, that's one. Well, what's your response, Baryonyx? Your response is to get off a Hydro Cutter. Good hit there, good strike back from Futuristic. Although, look at that, the defensive resilience of the Starachosaurus coming through there. Aqua Javelin, oh, another good Aqua Javelin, oh wow. Even the, even the bloody score. Where did that come from? And a crit from Baryonyx. But, there. Wow, look at the difference though. That was his crit. Now, Baryonyx is very balanced, I should say. But compared to the Hydro Cut and Aqua Jump, wow, crazy. But it is a wait, wait tie. Ooh, that's a tie. Won't mind that if you're futuristic. In fact, the tie's probably the best case scenario here for them because the Starachosaurus will go down and the Baryonyx will keep the Awaken mode and have a chance to hit this Majungasaurus. Right, coming in next, we have got Majungasaurus. This could be a big moment in the match here. If Futuristic gets this hit, he will extend his lead and have a pretty decent lead. But, if the Pivar can get the next hit here, stop that at Waker mode. could be a massive hit massive moment in the match aqua javelin as well that could be a big moment in this match momentum is definitely with futuristic now are they gonna go two up again nope majungasaurus is having none of it but futuristic is definitely on top here right coming in next for futuristic we got cychania super cychania i should add That Baryonyx is really doing some work for Futuristic so far in this tournament. Really impressive. I mean, it was the main reason they won it in the first round. But it is gone now. So we're going to see what this Cychania can do. Oh, that's a tie. That'll be curtains for Majungasaurus. 
Right, coming in third for the Piva, we have got a Satiosaurus. It is willpower type, so if it gets off if it gets off ties, those moves are gonna hit a lot harder. Almost very very similar move set to the one that Ultimate Dino King has. We'll see what it we'll see if it can get Pivar back in this contest. It was a good start from them. They got the terrain advantage, but since then, you'd have to say it's been all futuristic. Can't afford to get hit too many times. Right, that's one. Oh, that's another hit. This is not good for the Pivar, but this is looking very good for Futuristic. That's another hit on the board. Okay, yeah, I think this is going to be a bonus point victory. Here comes the Awaken mode. Well, this is it for Pivar, isn't it? Has to get this hit. And does! A softening beam as well. That can make things interesting. Ooh, did P did Futuristic miss their chance? The health HP will be halved after the Awaken mode as well. Hmm, an interesting turn of events there. Okay, no. Futuristic wins. <laughs> Bonus point victory. Oh, no, it's not. not no, not yet. <laughs> oh, Cetiosaurus almost a went down. Okay, there it is. Finally got a tie, but the tie took out Satyosaurus, and it is a bonus point victory for Futuristic, who is enjoying a very strong tournament so far. Now then, on to our main event of this session. Okie dokie, in the red corner, representing Moon, we have got a Sukamimus. Moon really bruised after that defeat they got in round one against Futuristic. Looking to, for some better fortunes in this contest. Right, in the blue corner for Ultra Lord, we have got Alpha Iguanodon. Ultra Lord also tasted defeat in round one. Looking to bounce back. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one to call. Is that that easy? Ooh, but it's Ultra Lord getting the first shot of the match there. Oh, and another hit. A solid start so far from Ultra Lord. Super Mimus not really getting going yet. And, oh, 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 another hit. <laughs> um, this is not going well for Moon. Oh, that's a tie. Can they get a hit? Nope. And it's been all Ultra Lord so far as Super Mimus bites the dust. Um, okay, coming in next for Moon, we got Ankylosaurus. Big problem here for Moon is that this Ankylosaurus has all Earth moves and it will have type disadvantage against the Iguanodon, which is going to pose a problem. But if you're Ultra Lord, you're very happy with this start so far. That's a tight Stop going, scissors. Go for something else. <laughs> like rock. Yeah, I like paper. Oh, there's another tie. Oh, oh, here we go again. More rock spam. <laughs> Only hit in this match has been a rock hit from the Iguanodon. And another one. This random number generator is not feeling very random today. Okay, that's another tie. Moon just can't get a hit at all. It's been another slow start by our newcomer. Can they at least fire a shot with Ankylosaurus? No. And now, Ultra Lord is 2-0 up. Okay, here's a saving grace for Moon. They are going to get a hit because this Kakirodontosaurus will have terrain advantage. 
And that might be exactly what they need to get back in this contest. Okay, it's going to be a fire cannon. This hit could be exactly what Moon needs to get back in this match. Because, well, they, they haven't had a hit. They haven't fired a shot. They've only been able to do ties. Oh, freaking Dino <laughs> Oh, when it's not your day, it's just not your day, is it? You get terrain advantage, you would have got a crit, but no, the opponent has Dino Stuffer. Come on, give him a crit anyway. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, I need, really? This is just, this is getting beyond the joke now, RNG. No, you, no, stop giving him freaking rock hits. They're the only hits we've seen in his match. Oh my god, he poisoned it. Alright, alright. This is probably going to be scissors knowing the freaking moon's luck. Okay, there's a tie, but can't fire a shot. Finally, he gets a hit. I mean, it's probably going to be too little too late, but at least he's not getting free nil. Right, well, it's not going to matter, let's be honest. But coming in next for Ultra Lord, we got Super Majungasaurus. Awake mode on three. Now, normally the Kark would have the type advantage here, but based on the way this match is going, I don't think that's going to matter. And I'd be shocked if Ultra Lord doesn't get a bonus point win here. But, you know, crazier things have happened in this tournament. In these tournaments. Come on, Alt Moon, you can do it. Oh, hello. Okay. Nisi's going down fighting. Come on, Moon. You got off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And yeah, there it is. Game over for Moon. And wow. Well, that was a very one sided main event, let's be honest. Y you hate to see it, but it happens. Ultra Lord won't care too much. They're getting a bonus point win. A moon, well, it's been another performance where they've not really landed a shot on their opponent. Right, we'll have a look at the table and we can end the session. Well, Group, group G certainly taking a twist there. We have Futuristic Top with two bonus point victories. Then we have out a Blitz Specialist Shy Guy on two out of two as well. Then we have probably the shock of this round. Drogon Targaryen getting beaten by Lad, but they did get the losing bonus point, which puts them third. Then we have Ultra Lord in fourth after getting their bonus point win. Dino Tenker and Lad level on three points. Tenker above Lad by virtue of the fact that they beat them in round one. Then we have the Pvar on one point, and poor old Moon can't catch a break on zero points. But yeah, Group G really, really spicing up. I think this could go down to the wire. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. And until next time, ta-ta.